right, guys, we got the latest project here. Picked up another off-road go-kart, another Yurf dog. Picked up the frame for 80 bucks, and we're gonna give it some special treatment, you know, the regular. Gonna put a Predator 212 on the back, but this time, instead of the centrifugal clutch, this stock comes with a torque converter, so it's gonna be interesting doing another torque converter 212. All right, so we're gonna be going over some of the framework, so any imperfections I see, like over here, we got this spindle, it's a little bit broken, so we're gonna have to um, do some surgery on that, but check this out. Whole floor pan, so we're gonna do a weld on this floor pan real quick. So, as you can see, oh, you can't really see you now, but got the weld done right there, done by yours truly. But, now, like I mentioned earlier, um, if you check out this, look where the um, spindle, it's rubbing all along the tire, right here. All along it. So, now I'm going to adjust the tie rod, and we're going to see what's up, see what we can fix that. Alright, looking at this, we can see that the spindle is really bent. It should be straight with the A-arm, but... It is not, so now we're going to hit it with a blowtorch so we can bend it back. Alright guys, so this is the next day and did some more welding yesterday. I did weld, like I said before, the bottom of the floor pan. But today there was this piece right here, the connection from the roll cage to the bottom part of the frame. This was disconnected. But I did my crappy looking weld job right there. That's why I hate that. I'd rather use an electrode welder, but this is what I'm working with. Um, yeah, so I got that done and 212 coming soon. We resumed the go kart build again. And what we had to do was the mechanism here for the brake was not working. So explain to here, John. So, what we did here, so right now when we would press the brake, the brake band would come off okay. of the actual thing. So, we use this to hold it in place and we've scooted that forward so it would grab better so right now when we guys show you when we're gonna turn it on you guys are gonna see that it properly works and grabs it when decelerating so all right let's get to it the situation on the torque converter what's so, going on here the torque converter so originally like usually the torque converter backs up to like the actual engine right here but that's spacer that's a washer and we need to do that because these two wouldn't line up and before i don't know if we recorded it or not but it would like go at it at a slight angle so when accelerating it would not like the belt would start burning up and you could smell rubber but how we have it set up now it is properly working and it's probably going to be ready to be test red right now if you look right here this is actually an original mount so from factory this go-kart frame actually came with a torque converter and it had it right here but when we we're lining it up we ended up finding out that this torque converter was just a little too big for what we needed so we ended up having a spare torque converter on hand so we ended up piecing our own torque converter together with just stuff that we had lying around the garage and it worked there we have it All right, so we did test ride, and I don't know if you guys could hear it, but the governor wasn't kicking in. We weren't at the, our full potential, especially with the torque converter and not the centrifugal clutch. So we're just going to do an adjustment on here, onto the throttle, so we can get the full power out of it, and then we'll see the difference. Nobody. All right, so we did test ride, and I don't know if you guys could hear it, but the governor wasn't kicking in. We weren't at the, our full potential, especially with the torque converter and not the centrifugal clutch. So we're just going to do an adjustment on here onto the throttle so we can get the full power out of it and then we'll see the difference dude right. and, and this is like heck of wobbly though i mean i mm -hmm. think you need to tighten this guy down a all little right bit. give me the tent all right now it's bottomed out fam you think there's gonna be a difference in this oh, oh yeah that <laughs> <laughs> watch how you have to <laughs> Did you 
difference from what it was, dude. How's it doing? Dude. You know, like before, like it would kind of crawl, you know, like a half throttle, but it, dude. This thing is putting you work now. Like there's, there's a big difference. Now before that just sounded so, like. Yeah. Like it just. The rattling noise is this. So we got to adjust this rod somehow a little bit. Yeah. Now, now that we're finished with the testing, got it pretty much dialed in, but to hit it with the pressure washer. Alright guys, life hack. As you can see, this it was kind of faded up a little bit, and see this is like just bare, but get a, a can of vinyl and fabric paint, makes it look brand new dude, here. It's like why buy a new chair exactly. or a seat when you can just spray paint it with fabric paint? Spray paint, especially if the cloth and fabric is still good, check it. All right, so what we did here, put roll bar foam right here, and also hooked up a kill switch up front, wiring that down, and then we're gonna put on the seat cover. All right, so here, this is the finished product of the seat. Quick dry, now it's gonna put it back on, flip it over. Check it. Looks brand, nice, dude. Brand new, dude. The foam, seat, everything Chris looks flat. good, dude. With the trim off those uh, zip ties. And still gotta get the zip tie off. All right. So I was going for a ride in this, ready to test run, after we put everything on, the brake fix, and then this chain decides to pop off. So we think we had something on deck. We had a master link. We'll see how it goes. Dude, clutch field repair. That's the brakes. How are the brakes? 